from the bus stop you have to just walk straight all the way and you will see this sign Changi Point Ferry Terminal and you have to go all the way down there to go to the boat and this is the only way you have to come here. From Singapore port to Pulau Ubin port is almost 20 minutes ride and you have to pay $4 for each trip so means once when you're going to Pulau Ubin you have to pay $4 and when you're coming back you have to pay $4 and all the payment is only by the cash and you have to pay inside the boat itself. If you come on weekdays there will be not a lot of people so you can just go and sit down and wait for your turns to go there but if you come on the Saturday Sunday you have to queue it here and wait for the 12 people to go inside the boat because this boat only operates if there is a 12 people if lesser than 12 people and if you get late somehow after 6 p.m. you have to pay all the 12 people fare to ask the person to bring you to that side so keeping that in your mind just now our boat arrived there and we have to walk all the way straight inside there to reach the Pulau Ubin, the main entrance. So let's go start. As you can see, the, the view from here is also quite beautiful though. It's very near to the Changi Airport, so you can see the flights are like really going down very near. Once you enter to the Pulau Ubin, you will see a map here. You can just follow a map. We will rent the cycle from here and we will move all the way from this side to Puaka Hills if if the weather is still nice like this so the cycles as you can see you can rent it out from all the sides this is all the cycle rental so as I mentioned you can see all the, the cycles you can take it from this side the cycles price is depend on what kind of cycle you choose so you can just rent it out from here so basically we are going to rent it the cycle so I will show you the price later so we are planning to take this bike, it costs you almost $8 for a whole day trip. Drive first. So far okay. I'll stay persistent. You need that distance, yeah. But we love like this, we cannot miss each other. Yeah, yeah. Put yourself way above me, yeah, yeah. But there's one thing you need to know. Yeah. My heart just wants to see you grow, yeah. You know that I need you so, yeah. So. You're bad for me, I know, yeah. You can run back to me, you know this. I'll be your lifeline, yeah. I promise you can call on me. Calling, calling. We are already on the first stage. On the first stage, you will see from a bit of height. This is the first stage. The another one, we have to climb some more to show you the the top view from there. It looks more beautiful. I have already set my camera here on my gimbal, so you will see a time lapse quite. Beautiful time lapse. Let's see what we will get. It's quite tough, so we choose to park our cycle that side and we will just hike. As you can see, it's very difficult though. I'm supposed to wear a shoes actually, but 
It was raining last night, that's why I, I wear the slippers. But now I'm regretting that. It's actually worth the pain. It's almost like 20 to 25 minutes on foot hiking. But the view from here is very wonderful. As you can see, the parts are actually very difficult. It's a lot of ups and downs and last night it was raining, that's why it's wet also. And it's a bit slippery actually. So you have to keep in mind, it's better to wear the shorts that's kind of sporty and dry fit, even though it's very windy here, but you will still sweat a lot. So it's good to wear the dry fit cloth. Yeah, one more thing, you should bring with you also insect repeller because a lot of ants and all here and later maybe I will show you my legs already got beaten by this, this all insect. Oh, finally we are here, so be ready for the beautiful view. So this is how I set my camera for the time lapse. So let's hope for a good view from this. Please, don't do this kind of thing. This kind of uh, beautiful place is not, not supposed to be get ruined like this. So you see as a name written here, Mohidan Ramandin. I believe that you have taken some good pictures and all for your memory. But it doesn't make any sense to write your name here like a, like this, you know. Mohid and Ramayan and, and I love you, Sonia, Neha, whatever. It's, it's, it's quite weird though and it's, it goes already like in 19th century. This is 21st century and you have to change it. So this is why sometimes you have to read the notice board. Actually, it says that no bicycle beyond the spine. This is why we found it difficult and we were thinking like why it's like so difficult to bring the cycle here. Actually, you can just park your cycle that side. There's a cycle stand and you can just take the steps and you can just hike there. So please don't repeat the same mistake that we did. Actually, it was very difficult to bring the cycle on top there then bring it down and it was quite risky also. Let's move to the next point. This place is quite big, so it's better to take the cycle here and I will suggest you just keep moving around. There's a lot of places that you can just go and it's like, uh, it's hidden like that. Like this place, we are sitting now almost from 20-30 minutes but we never see any person that's coming here. So it's out of the sight actually. But it's very beautiful as you can see. I wish if I have a boat. I could have just go that side and can see some more. But it's so surprising, uh, this kind of island also 
still in under Singapore. So just now we were actually there on top of that and now all the way we cycle from there to come down and come to this uh, this side it's actually a cycle park so you can come in here and you can have a very beautiful view the water here is super clean you can see a lot of things just now there was a lizard but we missed it out the shot until i take out my camera ready the way already the weather is also getting cold and things are becoming more beautiful so we will try to cycle in the other side that side Because Pulau wind is out from Singapore and it's still not connected to the generators that they generate the electricity to operate this because there are still some families that are staying in Pulau Ubin. So they get the electricity from here. So basically this is all about the Pulau Ubin and I hope you will like the video. It's a, such a beautiful place. If you are coming here, one more important thing, they open 9 o'clock in the morning and they close 6 p.m. So you have to maintain your traveling time between that. So it's better to come early in the morning. And you just because you have to wait for the boat also your cash because they don't accept any cards payments even inside the shop also they only accept the cash they don't accept the cards so you have to bring the enough cash with you and bring some water bring some foods with you is better because the food options here are now very minimal because of the covid a lot of shops are closed there's no much crowded place also i hope you will like this video from this beautiful view we are signing off peace